what's up now? Huh? So we got 50 Cent Baby Mama was an alleged worker for Diddy. Yeah. Ain't that something? Diddy's coming to the end of that. He said, man, I ain't know you was a little worker. You know what I'm saying? For Diddy, you little worker. Yeah, that's crazy. So they are saying that Diddy only got with her, or whatever the case may be, and they had going on because, you know, the distraction 50 Cent and Diddy has against each other and whatnot. All right? So 50 Cent Baby Mama was allegedly a worker for Diddy. Now, I don't think we have to ask if Diddy did this or not. Did he do it? I think that question was long gone if he did it or not. But we still got celebrity out here trying to take up for the man. And I feel like these people are trying to take up for the man so they can be on record saying, hey, man, I was taking up for you. Don't say nothing about me. See, that's what I think is happening. But I tell you one damn thing. This is what's really going on. Diddy set all y'all ninjas up. White, black, Chinese, all y'all ninjas. He set all y'all ass up because he knew one day he was going to get in trouble for this shit. And guess what? He wasn't going down by himself. Huh? Let's get through this little, this little list I got. And this going to prove it right here. Now, you got Akbar, first of all. She's coming out talking about, hey, man, y'all ain't even worried about the man, kids, man, da, da, this and that. Was he worried about anybody else's kids? Some of these victims were allegedly underage, ma'am. What the fuck is you talking about? That was somebody's child. So then we got Slim Thug. Slim Thug, man, he's been advocating for this man ever since this news came out. And I'm thinking Slim Thug, the Slim Thug is saying, hey, I need to see the charges. You know what I'm saying? It's always black on black. Well, shit, it was a lot of black people that he did this to. <sighs> Come on, man. I'm looking at Slim Thug all fucked up. Now, I love his music, though, but, man, you, your ass straight tripping. I'm just saying because of the simple fact. How the hell can you take up for somebody when you say, I didn't see no charges. He wasn't charged with nothing yet. They just raided his crib. You think he ain't finna be charged with something? Man, you dumb and slow. You, slum, you slow and dumb. Slim Thug, you slow and dumb. And I think Slim Thug been to these parties, and that's why his ass don't want a lot of shit coming out. But it's going to come out, baby. It's going to come out, baby. So you just better be praying and hoping and praying that your name don't come up somewhere, somehow. Whether if it's out of Diddy mouth, because a lot of this shit, Diddy, Diddy ain't said his, 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 his case, though. He ain't said his shit there. This is just we going by what is the paperwork that's already out there. Diddy ain't opened his mouth yet. Now, what he going to say? Huh? Huh? Was you there, Slim Thug? Because he sure advocating for that fool. Now, we got Tyrese. Tyrese. He talking about the kids, too. My daughters go to their school. My daughters been to their birthday parties. That, so, so you admitting you've been to some parties. Because we all know when black people have kid parties, it really be an adult party. Message. It really be an adult party. So, where was y'all at when y'all was doing that weird shit while them kids was out there partying? Huh? I'm just saying, allegedly. What the, what the fuck, Tyrese? These people shouldn't say nothing. I'm going to tell you who really shouldn't say shit. They got something to say. And that's Kales. R. Kelly, how dare you? You know what I'm saying? You, man, come on, man. Come on, man. You saying the man innocent. Oh, shit. This is one out of anybody. R. Kelly should not be saying nothing, people. Now I hope they never let your ass out. Because he's trying to you know, appeal his shit and everything. I hope they never let your stank ass out because you are part of this problem with this Diddy shit. All right? Come on, man. Or Kelly needs to shut his ass up, man. Now, we got Prince Harry, T.D. Jenks on, on, on the Diddy list. It's a whole bunch of people, though, people. It's a whole bunch of people, all right? But what the hell is Prince Harry doing kicking it with Diddy? I could say the same thing about T.D. Jenks. Like, what the fuck? Uh, Tyrese say, pray for Diddy kids. Huh? He says, when a man is down, don't laugh at him. What the fuck you mean when a man is down? Huh? They act like this is something totally different from what is happening. Like, bruh, what you mean? Pray for his kids. If y'all gonna pray for anybody, it should be Diddy's ass. Literally. Y'all better pray for Diddy. 
Diddy is in a whole heap of shit right now. And his kids and stuff, they still going to be out here. But Diddy, that's who you need to be praying for. And that's if you want to pray about this situation. I mean, what the fuck? Don't kick a man when he down type shit. Like, what the fuck? He, he's already down. And you can't help him up. The only people that's going to be helping Diddy up is the police when they put them damn handcuffs on him. Crawling or not. I ain't. They going to put his ass in their car. Man, y'all tripping, bruh. Even Akbar saying people not worried about Diddy kids. Like, man, we going to pass all that, though. That shit crazy as hell. Now, this raid. This raid was based off concrete allegations collected from victims. When charges, they say when charges come down. So I don't know why they asking if he did or not, because they are saying, the laws are saying when charges come down, they will get him wherever he is. Huh? Wherever he is. And he's somewhere. Now, feds collected a number of electronics, including phones and cameras from Diddy's home associates, and private jet. This man got cameras and shit everywhere. Feds say the civil suits against Diddy, including Cassie's, is what launched the investigation. A federal judge signed off. All right? This isn't a witch hunt because the laws are saying this is not a witch hunt because what? P. Diddy lawyer came out and said, yeah, this is like a witch hunt type shit. You know, y'all picking on Diddy. No, nah, ain't nobody picking on him. So they're saying, no, they're coming back sarcastically, sarcastically like, no, this is not a witch hunt. All right. Police say Diddy has a disturbing history of X trafficking. All right. And he says, we are responding to concrete, detailed, explicit allegations. This is not random. We didn't choose his name out of a hat. You know what I'm saying? We had allegations that we were following up on. Now, 50 Cent baby mama Daphne Joy in Young Miami allegedly received a monthly fee from Diddy to serve as his workers. You see what I'm talking about? According to court documentaries. Uh -uh. Now, that Rodney Jones guy, he the one spilt that beautiful bean footage. People, and allegedly, it was $500,000 a month they was getting. <laughs> according, and this is all according to Rodney Jones recently updated court documents. He didn't updated them shits, huh? Now, many money, money through wire transfer. So they know about all of that shit that was given to Young Miami and 50 Cent Baby Mama. Now, Young Miami allegedly got caught with some pink Devil Dandra, some pink devil, devil Dandra people. Now, Rodney Jones Jr. claims Diddy asked for them drugs from Brandon Paul, which is, we know, the guy that got arrested, his so-called mule, uh, while rehearsing for a performance. You see what I'm saying? So, Diddy asked for the drugs from Brandon Paul while rehearsing for a performance, Brent, Brendan Paul said he forgot to pack it. So Diddy called Young Miami, who brought it to the, uh, uh, my bad, who brought it to him at the event. Now, Diddy Chief of Staff, Christina Coram, called Young Miami for Diddy, because that, you know, that's crazy. Now, Diddy's Chief of Staff, Christina Rodney Jones says it was important for her to have Diddy's drugs of choice immediately when he asked for it. Christina ordered ex-workers and prostitutes for Diddy. I didn't know it was a difference, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Christina ordered and, ordered and distributed ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, and mushrooms to Diddy and his celebrity guests. My stomach's growling. Um, yeah, so all of that, that, that's a lot of stuff. Damn, how high you want to be? You feel me? He want people numb from the waist down. Hold on, man. So, yeah, all of this was given to Diddy and his celebrity guests who were present on his rented yacht and in his homes in L.A., New York City, and Miami. On multiple occasions, Christina, the chief of staff, would force Rodney Jones to carry Diddy's drug pouch against his will. Now let's get to Stevie J. This shit's crazy as hell, people. Stevie J. 
in this updated court documents from Rodney Jones, shout out to him because he's spilling all the beef for being footage people. He says Stevie J recruits ex-workers and attends and participates in freak-offs. Justin Combs solicits, 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 hello, solicits prostitution, prostitutors, underage girls, and ex-workers for freak-offs. Brendan Paul is over the guns and drugs for Diddy. God damn. Now, see, Justin Combs ain't his son. I keep saying that. Somebody in my comments was like, that is his son. That's not his biological son, people. The, the boy looked just like this other guy that allegedly P. Diddy knocked off. Allegedly. Come on, man. Yeah, he allegedly knocked off that man, Daddy. Then he was so jealous of Al B. Short, he went and had kids by old girl, which was his baby mama. Al B. Short, baby mama. You know what I'm saying? He... he that ain't his son either. Make a long story short, short, the only person that his son is, is Christian Combs, a.k.a. King Combs. That's his motherfucking son, people. Biologically. God damn, people so damn slow. Like, where the hell have you been? You know damn well that boy don't look shit like he ain't even got height like them. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Anyway, people, let's keep going. Now, the laws say they have a recording, or should I say in this document, updated documents of Rodney, he says they have a recording of this and will provide it to the court. Because Diddy liked to record Rodney Jones in a club watching him and coaching him on how to recruit these ladies. You know what I'm talking about? Diddy has a tape on everybody that has ever attended his free calls, parties, and house parties. I told y'all. Diddy said, all y'all ninjas up, bro. All y'all ninjas up. They say hidden cameras were found in every room in Diddy homes. Not just one home. All three of those homes. They are hidden cameras in every room. He said, all y'all ass up. 50 Cent says he will pay a million dollars for footage of Diddy. Now, that's kind of rubbing me the wrong way because I know Diddy, I mean, 50 Cent don't like him. But when, see, all these people are zesty. All them industry cats zesty. That's leading me to believe all these street cats are just zesty. No Diddy. You know what I'm saying? No Diddy. <laughs> no doubt. Now, why do 50 Cent want footage of this shit? Because when he claims that a tape of Cassie was sent to him, he, he he took it as that was very disturbing. It looked like she was getting shit done to her that was against her will type shit. Why would you want footage of Diddy? He says he want footage of Diddy. Like, 50, where are you going with this shit? Where are you going with this shit? You see what I'm saying? Like, why would you want to see him humping and bumping and thumping? Why, what's up with that, man? Anyway, man, all them cats is fruity, bro. All them cats zesty, no diddy. But see, this is the thing. This is why you know he set all they ass up. Because they be so high. You know, dudes be slumped in the chair. They didn't had it. They done. Damn near sleep. You know how your boy, diddy might say, yeah, go suck my boy up. And you aware of what's going on. You just so toe up. You don't even care. You just enjoying the moment or whatever. If you can feel. Because that's how numb diddy has to have people. He have your ass numb. From the waist down. We seen how Meek Mill was standing in the damn pool. It looked like he was numb from the waist down. He's, his, his fucking hips was switched over. Like, what the fuck? People. So once he says, yeah, go suck my boy up or something like that. Hey. You wake up the next day. You like, damn, how old was them girls? You found out. You know, all this other shit. You like, how old was them girls last night? Man, they was 16 and 17. They was getting it in, wasn't they? You like, hold up, what the fuck? Yeah, I got it on tape. Message, like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Diddy said, all oh, y'all ass up. Y'all thought y'all was having a good time and kicking it and living a dream. Yep, now your ass living a nightmare. Message. 